Hello, I'm Sean Park, and I'm working with Dr. Fu, who is an assistant professor in University of Delaware. In this time, I will introduce a new additive manufacturing of continuous carbon fiber rainforest thermocell composites, along with the history and application of the composite. Then what is the composite? Composite consists of two or more physically distinct and mechanically separate materials where one phase is dispersed within the interconnected phase. The reinforcement like powder, nanoparticles, and short or long fibers enhance strength and stiffness of the composite. And the matrix binds the reinforcement and transfer load between fibers. The composite exhibits different characteristics from the individual component. In the early period, people made synthetic composites such as mud brick by using the mud and sand for binding straws. As developing materials, new type of materials came up. Polymers, which is commonly used as the matrix, has been growing from the early 1990s, and the development of reinforcement attributes the composite research and increased the demand of manufacturing innovation for the composite. Thanks to the advancement of polymers and fibers, diverse industry, including consumer products, automotive, and aerospace, Aerospace field can be developed by producing lightweight and strong product. We briefly look at what is the composite and the history of the composite. Then why are they so promising in these days? Composites are light, strong, and stiff, and flexible in processing. If you see the right side graph, the composite have high specific modulus and strength compared with ceramic and metals. In addition, they have long durability and do not corrode easily. For this region, a wide range of industries employ the composite as the main material. For example, the airplanes are composed of more than half percent of advanced composite and other material like aluminum and titanium. The composites are also prominent in the energy efficient application. The composite can use not only for light structure, but also for improved energy components like batteries. Therefore, the advanced composite for the reduction of weight and high energy storage device make vehicles more greener and more efficient. As reinforcement materials, nanoparticle, short fiber, and long fiber are used. And as a matrix, thermoplastic and thermocelling polymers are employed. Among the various materials, the thermoplastic and discontinuous fiber have been used thanks to their high processability. However, the thermoplastic discontinuous fiber composites are often limited to extreme circumstances requiring high surface temperature or mechanical properties due to low cross link density, low cross link density of the polymers or discontinuous reinforcement. Thus, thermosetting continuous fiber composites have got a lot of attention. Recently, the thermal setting continuous, fi continuous carbon fiber composites are actively researched due to the unique properties of carbon fiber, including lightweight and good mechanical and chemical properties. The right side graph shows the specific strengths of various materials. As shown in the reader, the carbon fiber has the highest specific strengths compared with the other fibers and metals. In previous, the continuous carbon fiber reinforced composites are produced with traditional manufacturing process like open and closed molding. 
This process uses pre-impregnated fibers and fabrics and cure them on the molding followed by autoclave curing. Due to the use of molding, the conventional manufacturing process have limited design flexibility and require labors for changing molding or controlling the process. Editing manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, can be alternated by overcoming these challenges because they design and fabricate the composite by infusing the resin into the fabric at the same time. The 3D printing offers a great way of producing composite with cost efficiency, scalability, high productivity, and design flexibility. On the other hand, currently most of reported 3D printing composites are thermoplastic based and mainly using discontinuous fibers. And the physical properties of thermosetting polymers make it hard to be used for 3D printing techniques. In addition, thermosetting polymers often suffer a significant decrease in viscosity before suddenly turning into solid. Such temperature dependent property make it difficult but critical to curing thermoset fiber into solid promptly while retaining desirable pattern during printing. Therefore, our research goal is fast, simultaneous wetting, wicking, and curing solidification. We invented the first 3D printer for continuous carbon fiber thermoset composite which is called localized in plain thermal assisted 3D printing. As shown in the video below figure, the Lita 3D printing enables simultaneous ready wicking and curing solidification. Lita printing is based on dynamic capillary driven flow generated by thermal gradient along carbon fiber with direct use of material for 3D printing. Fibers pulled out with surface tension, guarding bar pressed the fiber, and nozzle dropped the thermal setting polymer on the fiber surface. And drill heater generate a thermal gradient causing wicking and curing along fibers. As increasing temperature of fibers, the viscosity of thermoset contact angle becomes lower, and the liquid absorption ability becomes higher, inducing the liquid resin transfer toward the heater. Liquid absorption coefficient is composed of three parts. Its breaking means the liquid resin properties the narrow space structure between the carbon fibers and the interface between the fibers and the matrix like this. And we assume that the geometry of fiber is fixed like this. And we also calculate the geometry. The calculate liquid absorption coefficient reaches the peak and temperature of 60 degrees and then it decreased due to the decrease of the polymer viscosity. To find the efficient curing range, we used an infrared camera and DSC. Based on this measurement, we found the effective distance between the resin drop area and heater around 10 mm and temperature range for epoxy curing from 60 to 150 degrees. The Rita 3D printing enabled to print in any direction, even in free space. The first figure shows the needs of the thermal gradient for the wicking and curing of the polymer. And these two figures show the ability of 3D print ability of Lita 3D printing in horizontal and vertical direction. 
and we measure the degree of curing during the printing process. This later printed composite shows the high degree of curing, up to 95%, and high fiber volume fraction up to 60%. Different from the conventional heating methods such as oven, the composite heating allows curing the polymer from the inside to outside acting as an internal heater. As shown in the figure, after 100 seconds, oven-based heating and composite heating shows different curing state. In composite heating, the curing degree of laminate reaches about 0.9 and 120 seconds. However, in oven-based heating, the degree of curing is non-uniformly distributed. This result shows that the retail 3D printing enabled to make the flawless continuous fiber thermosetting polymer composite with a rapid and energy efficient curing method. Another advantage is that if we cut the fiber with conducting material, any fiber can be used as the feedstock for Lita 3D printing. The figure shows the dynamic weight and cure CNT coat fiber, glass fiber, and Kevlar fiber. Both conducted heat well and drove the liquid polymer rapidly. And we demonstrate Rita 3D printing in star and hexagonal shape and on a cylindrical load. Also, Rita 3D printing successfully printed a composite in free space, including horizontal and vertical direction. The SEM and CT images of printed composite shows a dense surface without voice or defects, resulting in great mechanical properties, strengths up to 810 megapascal, and in modulus up to 108 gigapascal. Compared with representative 3D printed composite using existing AM techniques, our Lita printed composite shows better surface temperature and tensile stress. They show the comparable properties like those of conventionally manufactured composite. In short, Lita 3D printing has an advantage in all categories. Printability of long fiber, printed composite performance, geometric complexity, 3D printing processability, and service temperature of the composite. Lita 3D printing successfully demonstrates the manufacturing process for continuous carbon fiber rainforest thermosetting composite, and it has potential in manufacturing area for lightweight and energy efficient applications by giving a chance to design and fabricate through the complex multi-scale and multi-material structure. Thank you for watching.